What up everybody, it's your boy Lankoi Warrior Kamau and I am back with another video and today I am going to be reading from this book right here my little sister bought me, shout out to her and the chart that I am going to be reading is called Faith That Despairs Doubt Do you have moments of doubt? Doubt always seems to stick in its destructive head it's and to all we are trying to do that's where faith comes in. Faith isn't the absence of doubt, but it reaches beyond doubt and toward doubt, which we believe to be true, or as the writer of Hebrews puts it, faith is the confidence that we hope for will actually happen. It gives us assurance about things we cannot see. On the football field, I'm sure our guys had occasional moments of doubt before the game got started especially when we played the New England Patriots since we lost to them so many times in a row the cult's hard to push that aside and replace our doubts with information we knew to be true by creating a vision of what the desired outcome would look like and focusing on those things that we knew would accomplish there was little room left for doubt in the 2006 AFC Championship game I was convinced it was our time to end our losing streak. I had faith it was our time. However, when we fell behind 21-3 in the first half, I confessed that I had serious doubts. Thankfully for our guys, held on to the vision long enough for those doubts to pass. I like the story of the perpetual optimist. He fell off the roof of a 10-story building and still had a smile on his face face when he passed the fifth floor on the way down. When someone yelled out the window, how are you? He answered, okay so far. That may seem to be an unrealistic faith that flies in the face of scientific knowledge, gravity, but it's still faith. Many of us don't know how a plane takes off, stays in the air and lands, yet we step on the plane in faith that it will fly. Doesn't it make even more sense to believe the promises of the Creator of the universe whose work is visible all around us?